Good morning. I'm Ann Buland, Interim Director of Music at Holy Cross, and I am privileged to be able to share another devotional time with you. As you know, we are preparing for Holy Week, the most dramatic week in the life of the church. When we experience Christ's journey from Bethany to Jerusalem, from the upper room to the Garden of Gethsemane, from Pilate's court to Golgotha, from the cross to the empty tomb. This Sunday, we would normally be participating in a joyful procession with palm branches, followed by the congregational reading of Jesus' passion from the Gospel of Matthew. This year, we will live stream the service and hear the passion story read by the narrator, Jesus, and a speaker who takes all the other parts. There have been many musical settings of this text throughout history, but probably the most famous is the St. Matthew Passion by the Lutheran composer, Johann Sebastian Bach. If you have an opportunity this week, I encourage you to listen to this choral masterpiece. If you Google Bach St. Matthew Passion in English, you can find YouTube videos either sung in English or with English subtitles. At the beginning of each of his compositions, Bach wrote the initials JJ, which stands for Jesu Yuva, meaning Jesus help me. At the end of each work, he wrote the initials SDG for Soli Deo Gloria, to God alone be the glory. His life's work of musical genius was lived between these two prayers and this is especially evident in the St. Matthew Passion. The tension, fear, pain, and sorrow of Christ's suffering are expressed so vividly through Bach's music. The parts are sung by soloists and chorus and are not intended for congregational singing, but Bach involved the listeners through the familiar music of the Passion Chorale, O Sacred Head Now Wounded. This hymn appears in the Passion five times, each time with a different text, which provides a very personal response to Christ's suffering. In that first Holy Week, Jesus' disciples found that their world had turned upside down. In a matter of a few days, their beloved Lord was arrested, tried, sentenced, and crucified. The confusion, fear, and grief they felt is also present with us today. We are afraid to go out of getting the coronavirus or inadvertently passing it on to others. We fear for our families and friends who are in the medical field or working in places that have contact with the public. We hear the statistics of cases and deaths around the globe in our own community and feel powerless to stop it. Our world has also turned upside down and every day brings new challenges. So how can we respond? How can we participate in the most important week in our Lord's life when we are consumed with fear for ourselves? Last week I mentioned that I often find comfort in the great hymns of our church. The hymn writers poured out their prayers to God and into their verses, and they expressed the longings of many generations of Christians. So today for our prayer time, I would like to lift up our concerns and then pray in the words of our hymns. Let us begin by taking a few deep breaths in and out and prepare for prayer. Let us pray. Let us give thanks and praise to God for each day and for the many blessings God provides. Evening and morning, sunset and dawning, wealth, peace and gladness, comfort in sadness. These are your works, rich in glory divine. Times without number, awake or in slumber, your eye observes us, from danger preserves us, causing your mercy upon us to shine. Let us tell God our fears and anxieties with the confidence that God will hear us. 
Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who with all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Let us ask God to be with us, to calm our fears, to give us the comfort of God's loving presence as we go about our day. When peace like a river attendeth my way, or when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Let us pray for those who are sick, their families and friends, healthcare workers, those working in dangerous situations, and those helping to provide medical supplies. We come to you for healing, Lord, of body, mind, and soul, and pray that by your Spirit's touch we may again be whole. You touch us through physician skills, through nurses' gifts of care and through the love of faithful friends who lift our lives in prayer. Let us pray for consolation to those who are grieving. In all our fear and grief, we turn to you. O oh God, you know all that we think or do. You know the pain we put each other through. God, when we suffer all that we can bear, then let us know that you in truth are near and will not leave us lost in all our fear. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask God to guide and bless our efforts to help others, to deliver food, to give blood, to make masks, to share with those who have less. O oh God of mercy, God of light, in love and mercy infinite, teach us as ever in your sight to live our lives in you. In sickness, sorrow, want, or care, may we each other's burden share. May we, where help is needed, there give help as though to you. Let us give thanks for those who have recovered, for places where the pandemic is slowing down, for having enough to get through this time. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God all creatures here below. Praise God above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Let us give thanks to God for the great gift of his Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, who experienced the overwhelming pain and grief of the whole world on our behalf. And when I think that God, his Son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Let us conclude our prayer with these words of trust. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Still be our guide while troubles last and our eternal home. Amen. May God be with us in our Holy Week journey and keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. To God alone be the glory. Amen.